Hi, welcome to this Copper Mass video on transformation matrices. In this video, we're going to look at the matrix, the transformation matrix, which is a reflection in the y-axis. And that's the transformation matrix, minus 1, 0, 0, 1. So here we've got the unit square. If we were to multiply the points O, A, B, and C by this transformation matrix, it will reflect the square, the unit square, in the y-axis. So it will bring it over here. So let's have a look and see if that, that happens. So let's take the matrix, minus 1, 0, 0, 1. And let's multiply it, first of all, by the point at the origin, so 0, 0. And when we do that, we'll multiply in the first row by the column we'll give. Minus 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0, so that's 0. And then the second row by the column, 0 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. Adding them together is 0. So the point of the origin will stay where it is. Next, the point A. So if we take the matrix again, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, and multiply with the point at A, 1, 0, we get minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. 0 times 0 is 0. Adding them together is minus 1. And then the second row by the column, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, adding them together is 0. So that will move to the point minus 1, 0. So it will be reflected over here. So reflection in the y-axis to there. So that's where the point A dash will go. Next, the point B, which is 1, 1. So it's going to be minus 1, 0, 0, 1. And we're going to multiply by the point 1, 1. And when we do that, we get minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. 0 times 1 is 0, adding them together will be minus 1. And then the second row by the column, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, add them together as 1. So it will be reflected the point minus 1, 1, which will be there. So that's where the point B dash will go. And finally, the point C, well, hopefully it will stay where it is. So minus 1, 0, 0, 1. And when we multiply that by the point C, which is 0, 1, we get minus 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, add them together as 0. And finally, 0 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, add them together as 1. So the point C will stay where it is, so that will be the point C dash. And joining it up, as you can see, that's a reflection in the y-axis.